What is up guys, your boy Bobby Nation here bringing guys a quick tutorial on how to make a login form in Visual Basic 2008 slash 2010. Pretty sure this works in um, future versions, but for this one, it's, I, I know for sure that it works in 2008-2010. Alright, so what you're going to do is new project, Windows form application obviously. Once you get this, add buttons add two buttons um yeah add two buttons and then add three labels so we're gonna add three labels and then add two text box so text box and text box alright so now what you're gonna wanna do here resize it to the Size that you want it to pretty much customize the thing, the the form. Whoops, customize the form how you want it to be to look like. I'm gonna customize it like this. Why'd I put two? Not, not bad, guys. It's only two text box, not three. All right, but I line those up label one, label two, label one, name it user or username, whatever you prefer. And label two, name it pass or password again, whatever you prefer. Label three, just write on it, please log in. So put that right under there. Now we're gonna do that. Button one, rename it login. Button two, rename it exit. Alright, now that we got everything out of the way, double click on exit and just type in end. Easiest code you probably have ever done in the program. End is it would end the statement, which means it would end the program immediately. Um, double click on login now. Here we're going to be doing the actual code for the program, which is why you guys are watching this video. Alright, but first off, you're going to start with if text box, oops, text box one dot text equals quote quote. Not just leave the quote quote like that for now. You will, f I know you, you'll get a bunch of errors and stuff. Just wait, wait for, um, wait for this. Just stop that right now. Now go to the, your text box, click on one of them, and go all the way to the top. And the name, it sh look at the at the text box it says. This is very important because if now you can get your stuff mixed up. For example, if you want your user to be your text box one, you have to write in the code text box one. So since I got it right, I'm going to put my, I want my username to be Webby. And, and text box to text box to dot text equals let's say I want my password to be nation so it would pretty much look like this and then you're gonna write then then now here go to solution explorer right click add Windows form application. I pretty much add another application. Name it whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at form two. All right, now here, write down whatever it is that you want to write down or do. Um, I'm just gonna name it. Boo, I scared you. Yeah, why not? Whatever. Um, and then I'm just leave it like that. All right, now go back to the form one dot vb, and then here you're gonna want to write. Or whatever it is that you named it, form two dot show. And pretty much, before before the dot show here, you're gonna write down the name that you named this right here. So my name is form two. I'm gonna rename it for two. But let's say if I made another one that says form three, I would name this to form three. Whoops, form three. But since I don't and it says it's not going to be declared. I got to switch it to form two. Now here, it it should test it and it should work when you put the right information in. So Webby Nation 
log in see boy I scared you alright now we're gonna make it a little more complicated we're gonna make it so that way if they get the wrong password a message box will pop up not really that complicated it's actually pretty easy but hit enter else enter a message box dot show parentheses quote wrong password bag I'm, I'm just using it as an example um wrong pass let's say you use wrong password fag message box dot show try again can you use two messages yes you can alright so you could do as many message box as you want I'm going to use two now it's pretty much let me explain the code here if text box one dot text equals webination which meaning if the text box one which the text box one will be the first one if you put webby in there then if you put webby in there and in text box two which be the second text box right here if you put nation in there and hit login then it should show form two which is this little thing that we made if you didn't put the information nation or webby in the right spot or you put another password then mess these two message box will show saying wrong password fag or try again now let's test that out see how if I put webby and I put nation and I log in it logs in now if I put another one like for example boom if I hit log in it's gonna say a wrong password fag try again so pretty much you have to try again and log in see you just have to put the right password now that's pretty much all you guys have to do for this I mean basically simple by the way if you have an updated version virgin wow well, virgin wow well, if you have an updated version of um, visual basic and I recommend that you use this message box message box dot show and then in here write down your message for example wrong password reason it doesn't work for me I do not know why but if I write down the actual message thing it will work so I'm pretty sure this is only for a few like for advanced for like visual basic 6 or I don't know 12 something like that so I'm pretty sure if you if you're in another version of this program then type this if you're in 20 2008 2010 then write this and you should take the air should go away alright guys so that's it for today new tutorial new tutorial out either later today tomorrow or the day after tomorrow I'm not sure if tomorrow I'm gonna make a tutorial or an actual video for you guys like a hacked client I know I haven't done one of those in a while but anyways guys thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe Webination out.